Okay, Kimmel 10A, Chapter 5, The Dozen and the Mole. Something that often tends to trip people up, but there's really nothing to it. If you know what a dozen is and can be able to do calculations between dozens of eggs and eggs, then you can do the moles. There's no difference for it. We're working page 79 through 82, exercise 5B. Okay, so one dozen of anything is equal to 12 of those things, whatever it is you're counting. One dozen beers is equal to 12 beers. One dozen jello shots is equal to 12 jello shots. One dozen M&Ms is equal to 12 M&Ms. One dozen water molecules is equal to 12 water molecules. No confusion there. Well, one mole is like one chemical dozen. One mole of anything is equal to not 12, but Avogadro's number of them. 6.022214199 times 10 to the 23rd of them. It's a much more convenient number when you're dealing with things as small as atoms or ions or molecules or formula units. So when we say one mole of sodium atoms, we have this many sodium atoms. Okay. I like thinking of it in terms of an egg carton. I open up an egg carton and there's 12 spots where I can put one piece of whatever it is I'm counting, um, M&Ms or marbles or eggs or whatever, and if I fill that egg carton with all 12 spots and then I close the carton, I have one dozen. Well, if I have a mole carton, not an egg carton, I open it up and I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of those spots. I stick a marble in each or I stick a sodium atom in each and whenever I close that carton after they're all full fill it up I've got one mole of whatever it is that I'm counting no big deal now these are conversion factors and we'll use them as such last thing I wanted to just point out is how formula units tends to confuse people and there's no reason for it atoms combine to make molecules just like ions combine to make formula units. The only difference is that atoms use covalent bonding to make molecules and covalent bonding, remember, they stick together and can't pull apart, whereas ions use ionic bonding to make formula units. And here, they're not really stuck together, but we still think of that in terms of a formula unit. Think of it formula unit is an ionic molecule. Nobody gets confused when we're doing molecules calculations. So just think of it as an ionic molecule, ions combining to make them, and shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so. Okay, here are our example problems. A, B, C, and D. We get a good look at them all? Excellent. Okay, so there they are. Or you can hit pause, try them, and then come back and we'll see how you did. Ready, set, pause. <clears throat> All right, we're back. First things first. Any problem that has one number in it plus one unit, that's exactly where you start. And then you find conversion factors to get to where you need to go. So for this problem, 0 0.45 moles is all we need to do. What are we counting? We're counting Fe atoms. And that's what we want to get. So the Fe atoms are the label that's associated with that many moles. Okay. If moles is on top here, we need moles on the bottom. Moles of what? Moles of Fe atoms. Good. Well, what number goes with the moles? Well, what number goes with the dozen? We have 12 eggs for every one dozen eggs, right? Well, we have one mole of these guys, and the number isn't 12, it's the chemical dozen number. What are we counting? Fe atoms. Okay. Moles cancels. Fe atoms cancels. What are we left with? Fe atoms, which is what was being asked for. Now, why did I use one, two, three, four sig figs here? 
because this number has two. Since that is a number that has a whole bunch of sig figs in it, remember if we're dealing with 6.02214199 times 10 to the 23rd, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sig figs. So as long as we use three or more in the Avogadro's number, we'll be fine here. So, the answer is going to have two. It's just multiplication, division. So, calculating this out, we get 2.7 times 10 to the 23rd Fe atoms. And that makes a lot of sense because if we had one mole, we'd have that many atoms. Since we have less than half, the number has to be less than half of that. There you go. Works. Good. Okay. Second problem. How many moles are in this many molecules? Molecules. So, 1.73 times 10 to the 31 molecules. Okay. Obviously, if I wrote molecules up here and moles down here, things wouldn't cancel, right? Molecules times molecules divided by moles doesn't give you moles. How uh, many moles? So the molecules has to go on the bottom. And the moles goes on top. Everybody remembers that. But what goes with what? Well, you got to remember that the one goes with the mole. And whatever it is that you're counting is this many of whatever it is that you're counting. So the 1 goes with the moles and the 6.0220 times 10 to the 23rd, or I guess that's a 1, goes with the molecules. Molecules cancels. You're left with moles. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sig figs. This is 1, 2, 3. We'd have been good with four or more sig figs here in Avogadro's number. All right, so now let's punch this into our calculator. 1.73 EE31 divided by 6.022 EE23 equals... All right, this is what my calculator says. 28727997.34. Your answer should be pretty close to that depending on what value you used for Avogadro's number. Since the answer is going to have three sig figs, let's write this to three sig figs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 2.87 times 10 to the positive 7 moles. Okay, that's that problem. Let's try C. How many sodium sulfide formula units are in 6.2 moles of sodium sulfide formula units? 6.2 moles. Moles of what? Na2S formula units, ionic molecules. Can you see where this problem is exactly the same as this problem, but instead of counting Fe atoms, we're counting Na2S formula units. That's all there is. That's all that's going on here. Moles goes on the bottom to cancel out. What are we counting? Moles of Na2S formula units. The 1 goes with the mole. 1 goes with the mole and the 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd goes with the uh, formula units. Everything cancels except for formula units, and I'm satisfied with just formula units. Two sig figs will be my answer. 6.2 times 10 to the 23rd. Whoops. 6.2 
times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd equals 3.7 times 10 to the 24th. Formula units. Okay. Now D almost looks like exactly the same question as NA2 or as C. The difference is, is that it's not asking for how many formula units, it's asking for how many ions. Okay? So, what you have to first think about is if NA 2S is the formula unit, how many ions do you see? Three ions. Okay, that's the deal. There are three ions in one formula unit. So it's just one last conversion. Alright, so we're going to start with 6.2 moles of formula units. Okay. We want to first find out how many formula units we have. We just did that. Same exact problem. That gives us the formula units, but we're not done. We have one more conversion factor which says there are three ions for every one formula unit. Formula units cancel, and that's just that problem times three. One point one times ten to the twenty-fifth ions. Guys. These two problems are just like saying if I have two dozen heads, how many heads do I have? Well, two dozen heads is the same as 24 heads. Here they're saying if I, how many eyeballs are in two dozen heads. Well, two dozen heads is the same as 24 heads. And then there's two eyeballs per every one head, so there's 48 eyeballs. Think it through. This is pretty obvious if you think about that as being a formula unit, 3 to 1 ratio. Okay, you know where you're working. Get on it. This is a pretty uh, tricky concept for many, so be good at it. Practice. Thanks.